Hello everybody, it's me, it's Farum. we're here with some Deep Rock Galactic Survivor and today we're going to do the Vanguard Contract. The Vanguard Contract today we get to play as the Juggernaut Gunner in the Hollow Bow. We start with the Thor Bug Taser and can only use electrical weapons. We're going to get all our weapons between levels 1 and 4 and we're starting with a Chemist Kit. Rocks and Minerals are going to be easier to mine so that's going to be fun. Cheap chemicals so minus 30% potency but the Chemist Kit is offsetting 15% of that already and shops are going to be increased by 25% so let's jump in and show off some Shock Turret Supremacy with the Juggernaut. We're basically going to go all in on the Shock Turret. There they are. That's what we're leveling up today. Oh, look at all these loot bugs. What a joyous start. So much popping. So much minerals. Such wow. Very minerals. I did that backwards. I don't care. Meme's dead anyway. Right, we're also going to grab the High Vault Thunderbirds. Because having stumpy little Thunderbirds around us sounds fun. We see some plus one drones. We'll grab those. But we're mostly just going to level the Shock Turrets. And we'll probably grab the Stubby for a bit of close range part. Uh, maybe not actually. You can see how close the uh, the shock turrets are dropping to it. Uh, no, we will grab the stubby. We will. I like the stubby. We've got mushrooms we need to get first mission control. No messing about. Mushroom time. Go for the pickup radius. Now, some people might say, well, that choice was completely crazy. And you're right, it was. We'll just re-roll. Yeah, I'll start leveling up the... I'll start leveling up the shock turrets. Like I said, this is a shock turret supremacy run. We won't be leveling up other weapons. You look like a weapon mastery, but with some annoying things that are going to get in the way. Mushrooms are. Uh, let's just take some more electrical damage. How closely packed together the shock turrets are. So taking plus one turrets on the shock is actually a good thing. It's a very good thing. A great thing, you could say. The greatest thing there's ever been. Because you uh, reload all of the turret charges you have at once and then you drop them all. We're just going to keep leveling up our turrets. Grey cards, fine, doesn't matter. Just getting it leveled up is what we're all about. We'll take some mining speed. I don't think the bugs think they can kill you, mate. If the dwarves getting a little paranoid again. XP game we're fine with. Like a bit of that. I'll grab some more reload speeds. More turrets better. We've got plenty of gold. Plenty of nitro for the shop, where the shop is expensive. We've got to take them, haven't we? We've got to take the jet boots, because if we can do some silly stuff... See if we can do some silly stuff now. Reload speed's fine. Okay, so what we want is this guy to get quite close to us, and then... Yes. Oh, no! Okay, we can try that again, though, in 20 seconds. We'll try again. We're going to get just some jet, jet boot supremacy going on. With the juggernaut. Everyone knows the next word. I'm not going to say it for the YouTube algorithmic purposes. Speaking of, if you are enjoying this video, don't forget to hit that like button. It really does help. And if you're not subscribed yet, get subscribed on the road to 2,500. You could be one of the number that gets us there. You know? Think of the joyous feeling. Such happiness. Right, we need to try and trigger this. <laughs> we need to try and trigger this thing. I want to trigger... Let's, we're taking the luck. Early luck is great. Right, let's go. Come on. Touch us. Touch us. Touch us. Can't get him to touch us. Yeah, get them to pick stuff up. So, oh, it doesn't matter. Done now. We'll get him on the next floor. We'll get him. We'll do some rock humping. We'll be the best rock humping dwarf there is. 
stage one. Well done, miner. Oh, look at these expensive prices. What a rip. This will help me mm, More luck? No way. We're up to 49 luck already. Look, we might pin that. It's so expensive, though, with 50% extra cost. We're, just, we're not going to do that. Next. We will get the XP. We'll get the XP again. We're gonna get. We're gonna take extra drones, right? I, I did say we were gonna take extra drones if they appear. We've got a little happy ring of drones, so we will collect extra drones. Only because I like the way they look. Now they're a triangle, which is a very strong shape, so they say. Yes. We can't. You can't use the uh, the vines to trigger to trigger the mining bug. You have to use an actual bug to do it. We'll probably have to wait until the elites arrive or use the dreadnought to do it. But that's okay, we can do that. Uh, let's take a bit of max HP. I think we can do it with pliers. How many shock turrets are all in that one tiny place? That will probably deal with that whole swarm. be picking up everything for us as well. Now let's take some status fair damage. We need to get some gold. In a sad time on the gold front. We'll get this first, then we'll go explore the map. Let's take some XP gain. Pick up radius. Lightning damage. Little drone still having a happy little time. Yeah, take some more damage. We need to get the turrets leveled up. Apparently, we touched a vine. There's the gold. I've got to get some move speed, right? It doesn't feel like rocks and minerals are easier to mine. Still normal. 60% pickup radius, they say. Use the vines to trigger the juggernaut special. Uh, we'll go for some more mining speed. There's definitely more gold around. Oh, there's a hoolu bug. Let's go surround him in turrets. Pick up radius up to 318%, and the turrets are picking up for us. I don't think we're going to be missing any experience. I'm surprised that Hooli didn't just die from shock. Someone's popular. We won't be using the pop-up tripod much. It was just better than the alternatives. Yep, more reload speed. Let's get more turrets out, please. Okay, we need to get our jump on. Oh, no. It's fine. Just grab some armor. Alright, so we'll get the work done now. Yep, more pickup radius. We don't want to level this W at all. We don't care about it. All about the turrets. Yep, plus one turrets. Yeah, crit damage is fine. We've got a shitload of crit chance with all of the shock, so... Alright, let's see if we can get the mining thing going on. Damn it, I touched a vine again. It's so difficult in the hollow boat. Oh, a magnet. How much experience did we get? So I've got a sun. Move speed. It's got us a couple of levels. Look at that. Shout turrets to 18. I think it's probably been 20 seconds. 
No, I stopped mining. Oh, turrets. Look how tightly packed the little turrets are. Love a tightly packed turret. Always good times. Get more reload speed. Maybe we've got less move speed. Oh, look at them. They're everywhere. Maybe we can do it now. I don't think it can catch us. Good damage. Yep, good chance of electric stuff. Why do we haven't seen more of those? We'll get plenty of XP though. Maybe 92% XP. Ooh. Uh oh. Oh, guys. Um, hopefully, I can get out of this menu. There we go. I think we're okay. I think we managed to get out of the soft lock menu. XP gain. Luck. Move speed. Pin that. Pin that. We've got plenty of click up ready. So hopefully the menu's not open anymore. It's not. Not yet. Panic over. Thought I'd locked the game up. We're all good. Those vines hit so quickly. They seem rather unfair. They should hit probably at half the speed they do, or just hit for one. They're literally shitting turrets. Bits of experience just flying in as we can just go and explore and be a happy little dwarf. Oh, that's like 70 max HP. Something hit me. Well done. You got them all. Yeah. Uh oh, the rocks broke. We were mining. Our oh, lifetime. Yeah, let's get the turrets lasting longer. Another reason we picked the drones. Just use the jump boots to get over the vines, no problem. 20% more damage? Zone 5% move speed? Oh no, let's just reroll. Let's take another 10% XP gain. Double, double grudges for 125% XP gain. Considering we're picking up so much experience. Let's get the reload speed, actually. I'd like to see that last turret level. Yep, crit damage. All the crit chance we're going to get. That we have already, because everything's probably got 100 potency stacks on it. That's gold. Good. Got to take the biggest pieces. Let's just go for more lightning damage. I think I'm cool with that. Let's go for a reroll. And again. Let's get that reload speed on. We get three extra charges, so we are just literally just going to be chucking out turrets, whatever we want. Oh god, it won't let us fly over the void. Yeah, more reload speed. Need more turrets. Fifty percent damage. Good. Definitely still more gold on this map somewhere. Turrets should be picking up pretty much everything for us, and it does look like they are. Let's go for some more turret damage. Already up to level fifty-five, just about. More lifetime. Have the turrets exist for longer. Okay, that's a lot of numbers. 
That is a lot of numbers. Oh my god. That's a lot of turrets. Let's just go for some raw crit chance. I don't think I've ever seen the turrets like that before. There's so many. Many turrets. All right, we can actually get the luck, and I think we should it's calling to me. What else keep the move speed around for now. Nope. Try again. Try the reload speed. Oh, here we go. Pass. Reload speed and some more damage. Okay, we've got one more shop. We're in level fifty-six. So it's definitely doing the work. Dock turret, turret supremacy on the Juggernaut. Look at how tightly he packs them in. He's an absolute master packer. Fant oh my god, look. He just shits them out. This is ridiculous. Because of the reduced range, he can put them basically next to each other. No other class can do this. This is, this is very good. Hats off the gradient for putting in a screenshot of lots of turrets together being like juggernaut turrets. It's a thing. Yes, juggernaut shock turrets. It's definitely a thing. Okay, we do need to go around and explore the map and get stuff though. Got mushrooms to get. I can't just only shit out mushrooms. Oh, turrets. We need to also consume mushrooms. Oh, yeah, more crit chance. Oh, it's getting the absolute work done there. Experience just flowing freely. Oh, I gotta love the shock turrets. And with them compacted like this, they're absolutely the best things since sliced bread. Classic British um, idiom then, because we're all about sliced bread, seasoned with water, as you guys know. Or mildew, if we're feeling fancy. Actually, just sort of stale water, for those that don't, don't know. Right, let's get this nitro. Yep, more damage. We don't need to look at the lightning corner. We'll just go through the go through the vines, we'll be okay. Yep, reload speed. Everything should be lightning. Clearly see that not everything is lightning. Oh fine, we'll grab some armor. We're not using the HP anyway, are we? So let's just take the damage. Now those things hit for 500. Right, reroll into XP gain. 69 is feasible here. Uh, but also, so is death. Death is also feasible. We're going to endeavour to stay alive. But also getting minerals, because minerals are important. Ooh, this is a bit scary. There's a few things here that could certainly one-shot us. of one shot range now but I still don't like it boss down two bosses down get the gold mines do some of it a little bit yep 
Thanks, Exploders. We were stuck. We're stuck. We were stuck in the mining, the mining stance there. I don't know if it's going to continue over. I doubt it. All right, let's grab some stuff. A re-roll, and then we can't. We're we're one night of falling. But damn it. All right, we're not stuck in mining mode. Come on, cover it in turrets. Come on. It hasn't even hatched at all. What? I've got all this area in shock turrets. Not anything to be able to get to us. Everything to be shock turrets. Come on. Yeah. A lot of shock turrets. They're hitting pretty hard as well. Fine, we can take some status effect damage. I mean, the status effect damage really is nothing, but... It's just all about the hundreds of shock damage hits. The many, many turrets all connected together. It up. There we go. Once the turrets get going, they uh, they get going. How many stacks they've put out? What about the DPS they've done? You get a shock turret inside the egg and yeah, egg no more. Now, would we take pickled nitra while holding this much nitra? That's the real question. Maybe is the answer. Where's the last egg? No! The songs that they sing are... preposterous. Oh, there's the last egg. It's the egg that we left from the start. Let's go for the crit chance. 50% crit chance. Eggs busted. Last egg not busted at all. Let's take 12 armor. Which is pretty high though. Not high enough. If we were a one shot to the dreadnought, it is a big dreadnought. We're about to find out, right? It's a big dreadnought. Okay, but it's almost dead. Because it just she has just have been standing in shock towers and there's so many. We'll do the zigzag so that we get more shock towers out in a more compacted area. That should really help us with the damage. Exploded on. We're just going to run out the tunnel. That jet boot probably actually just saved us quite a lot of health. What? Oh, look at what we just put down then. He's got to come stand in them. Oh, he did! Oh, Jesus! 
<laughs> no way did he land directly on that and get chunked like that. What a great show of these things at the end there. And we ended up at level 70. Stock turret supremacy on the juggernaut, guys. And there it is. Huge victory. <laughs> 21k DPS. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that run. If you did and you haven't done already, don't forget to hit that like button and I will catch you in the next video. Have a good one.